guys, got to come here. Tutorial video on how to set up your new Chromebook. So the model I've got here is the Asus 13.3. Um, it hasn't even been opened. It's literally just been taken out of the box. So as soon as you open up your Chromebook, um, you will have the protective pad. When it starts up, this is what you're going to see. So it will initially ask you to connect to a network. So I'm going to sign into my Wi-Fi. English, United Kingdom, I'm in the UK. Select a network. So that's me, Gordy, Wi-Fi of, wi of Awesome. And I will just pop my password in. The next page you should see, once it connects, and you click continue, will be terms and conditions. Uh, have a quick read of that. I already know this, so I'm going to follow on through. Checking for updates. It will always do this when you start up a new Chromebook because you never know which update will be available, whether an update has come out as you have, or once you have bought it. Okay, the next page you will get is email and password. So I'm going to cut the video because um, I need to protect my information, obviously. Um, so the next page you will see is what happens once you've done this. <clears throat> so once you put your email and password in, it will sync your preferences. That will take all your Gmail details over from your previous device or devices if you've got any Chrome web apps. And what you'll see is my current apps are being loaded so it's updating my Chromebook to match every other device I have ever used. This is quite something with the Chromebook. Now it's worth bearing in mind as well that this is not Google Apps, it's not Google Play Apps, this is actually Google Web Apps. So it's the apps that you would have had from your Chrome browser from the, um, from the Google Web Store. And it will also do your extensions any bookmarks that you've got on your browser, it will literally synchronize everything from your Google account to this device. So it's taken all my bookmarks from the top of the web browser. It's synchronized all of those things. It's taken me to the web store What I when I just clicked on it. So I'm here at the web store and it's remembered all my web apps that I currently have with my account. And it has synchronized all the apps that I currently had. It's still doing it. I should have four tabs there. Um, so it's currently synchronizing all the apps that I had on my previous device as well. Following this, all you really have to do once it's synchronized everything, if it hasn't been synchronized, then pop yourself over to the Chrome Web Store, find the apps that are relevant to you, depending what it is you're going to be using the device for. You will have your standard ones, Google Drive for your documents, Gmail for your emails, the Chrome browser um, and your documents and Google Sheets, Google Docs and Google Presentations which is the equivalent to your Microsoft Office, Word, Excel and PowerPoint. If you want to personalise your background, obviously I've just started this, go to Set Wallpaper and it has got, got your options there. So landscape, urban colours, nature, customised. Customised will let you upload a picture from your hard drive um, so it's more personal to you. But until then, you can just choose one of the options you've got. So, like so, just pick the one you want, close it down and the background will change to the one that you've chosen. And you'll see it loading that picture at the bottom of it so you can just wait until it gets to the end. Like now, the background changes. And that's your Chromebook background personalized. And that's essentially guys, that's all you have to do. If it isn't personalized, like I said, pop yourself over to the web store. You've got your hard drive to download or pop a USB in to get any current pictures onto the device. If you want anything else, or if there's anything else that I can help you with, feel free to drop me a comment under this video. Give this video a thumbs up if that's been helpful to you. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for some more videos in the future. 
Speak to you soon, guys, and hope that's helped. Take care. Bye bye. Well, for the Asus Memo Pad 7, it's 7 inch Asus Memo Pad, it runs Android KitKat 4.4. Let's get this unboxed, see what you get in it before you purchase.